Hello Darts Nuts, welcome to Darts Review Channel. In this video I'm having a review of the new Peter Wright Super Venom Darts from Red Dragon Darts. Now it's a very nice looking dart. Uh, I was a little bit disappointed when I seen the price, the, the really expensive £99.90. So I was umming and ahhing and I'm thinking oh why did they make them so pricey but in the end I couldn't resist so I had to buy a set and I thought well you guys are going to want to see a review anyway so I had to get a set. It's probably not a dart that's going to work for me because it is quite long and thin but it just looks so nice but I just wanted to read what it says on the <laughs> on the Red Dragon site. Now this is what it says on the site. It says it's got a quattro vertical orientated rounded edge grip in midnight black and a rear cube design sloped radius grip in electric blue so bit of a mouthful that try saying that when you're drunk and then in the description it says triple millen ring cut design multiple ionic cotton dual profile contours double geometric grip styling and front vertical hexagonal design Quite a lot of gobbledygook in that. <laughs> All I know is they look nice. So let's check them out. Alright, so I bought the 22 gram version. The 90% tungsten. They're also in 21 and 23 gram in steel tip and 20 gram in soft tip. And they retail for £99.90. So the darts come in the uh, snake bite Peter Wright double world champion cardboard packaging quite a, a nice pack just pull that out and the tray inside slides out and the darts fit with the Peter Wright venom points a really nice looking dart and they come supplied with the nitro tech short stems and a set of the Peter Wright snake bite standard shape I think these are extra thick hardcore flights. So as mentioned they come fitted with the Peter Wright Venom points so you've got a little bit of finger grip on there and it's got a built-in cone so got a smooth transition from the point to the barrel and it's a long straight barrel dart fairly slim as well so two things that are not to my liking but like I said, I got them because I, I like the look of them and also I know lots of people are asking for a review but it is very nicely machined so this front section has got this, what it called, what was it? a quattro vertical orientated rounded edge grip so basically it's kind of like a diamond grip but we'll have a close look at that just now and it's got the black PVD cotton on and you got these grooves with the purple kind of painting and then on the rear it's got this kind of a cube design grip with the electric blue cotton in. Now on the description it also said it was a zirconium nitride cotton so I'm guessing maybe that's what that is but the colours kind of look like something from the 1980s like the shell suits that you used to have around then but really nice looking dart and comes fitted with the nitro tech stems in short and the standard shape Peter Wright snake bite flights. So there's a close look at the venom points and as you can see the built-in nose cone gives a nice smooth transition to the nose of the dart. So you've got a tapered nose which is smooth and then a fairly deep painted groove and then you've got the UG what's it type grip what was it called the quattro orientated rounded something or other. <laughs> It actually looks really nicely machined that part, it looks very smoothly done and it's got the black PVD coating in, it's kind of like diamond shaped grip, it looks quite nice when you see it in close up and moving along got another couple of painted grooves, a smooth section with the red dragon logo, then on the rear you've got this milled cube grip and it's got the electric blue zirconium nitride cotton and it has a kind of a bluey green sheen to that so very nice again and it all looks neatly machined so that's nice to see can't see any really rough edges or anything so that's good and that pretty much runs the, to the rest of the 
end of the darts so just interspersed with a couple of painted grooves so there you go that's the close look at the snake bite super venom darts the darts fit with a 28 millimeter venom point that's a smooth tapered front that's 5.2 millimeters then including the two painted grooves you've got this quattro lateral grip or whatever it was called in between it's basically like hollowed out diamonds in a vertical alignment including the grooves that's 20.7 millimeters smooth section 5.2 millimeters on the rear it's the cube grip and it's in like three sections of three two and one with the painted grooves in between a little smooth section on the end that's 23.5 millimeters in total length 54.6 millimeters width 6.1 millimeters Twenty two point zero six grams, twenty two point zero five grams, and twenty two point zero seven grams. Full setup, twenty three point eight five grams. Here's the balance with nothing attached and with the supplied setup and this is the balance with medium in between short nylon stems and standard flights. So the front section is the grippiest so I've given that 6.5. thought that was going in the treble one actually <laughs> I don't know how it got in the treble 20 is that one in the treble it is oh unbelievable that not bad grouping um it was a little bit fish daily through the air I think that was probably why I thought it was going in the treble one but I often say I'm not really a fan of long darts they don't always work for me and maybe the fact that it's got the short stems on probably helps but this is also a very thin feeling dart for me, so the thinness is definitely not to my liking. It almost feels like as if I'm not holding anything, but the flying okay. Like I say, a little bit of fish taily, but I think that's just down to me. Not really a problem with that, the dart, it's just the way I throw it. Um, but I'm trying to think what to say about that grip. It's got quite a nice feel, but it's very strange as well. It's not as grippy as I thought it was going to be, but there's still some kind of grippiness to it. It's, it's a little bit weird. Oh. But I managed to get another treble there, which I didn't think I'd get any with these darts, but I do like the look of them. Now, I th I have a feeling that's a grip I might like, but I think I'd probably prefer it on a slightly thicker dart or maybe a front heavy tapered style of dart. But very interesting feel. It kind of feels like, I uh, know, like little, little hollows all the way along the barrel. And I think the fact that the black sections are kind of like hollowed out almost makes it feel even thinner than it actually is, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, I've got a treble from the middle. I'm holding it mostly on the smooth part, basically because it's probably the bit that's right in the middle. Um, the middle section, you get a little bit of the front and a little bit of the rear grip, but the bulk of it is that smooth part. So you may have to adjust your grip a little bit if you want to get some of the grip either side. Got another treble from the middle. But obviously it's definitely going to work for middle grippers, but like I say, you're not getting as much of the nice grip on the front or the one on the rear. So for you middle grippers, it's a bit of a shame the smooth part is there for you. <laughs> 
Oh, treble one champion. Oh, where was that one? Oh, I've got a treble on the last start there. So there's something nice about the darts. If you like a long, slim dart, but I think middle grip is a little bit hard done by there because of that smooth section. <laughs> oh, get in there. I think that was a pure fluke. <laughs> yeah, definitely was. <laughs> Mind you, the, them two kind of went how I was expecting that one to go. Kind of a bit whoop and to the side. It's just down to the long barrels. I know I'm not a normal rear gripper anyway, but the long darts always kind of fly a bit weird like that for me. But I'm only really testing it just to get an idea of how the grip feels, just to explain to rear grippers what it feels like. And it does have a slightly similar feel to the front section, kind of like lots of little hollowed out bits. Um, but the front part, I think you could feel like them little hollows a little bit more defined as I, I suppose is the word so I think the rear section is not as grippy as the front it's probably closer to a medium grip on the rear and maybe slightly above medium on the front but like I said it's a straight barrel dart so it's going to work whether you're front mid or rear gripper but for middle grippers you've got a kind of a bit of no man's land area there so if you're not too happy with the smooth section, then it won't be for you. But if you can move just a little bit either side, you get a little bit of grip, but the front is definitely a little bit more grippy than the rear. So I think front and full on rear grippers are probably getting the best from it overall. Oh, just above the wire on that last one. Ah, it's a pity that didn't go in. <laughs> it felt like it left my fingers just the same as the others, but it just didn't go. So, damn it. <laughs> so, there you go. That's the Red Dragon Peter Wright Super Venom Dart. It's a super nice looking dart. I really do like the look of them. Uh, but for me, Although I didn't throw them too badly, I don't really feel that comfortable with the thinness of the dart. I definitely prefer a thicker barrel, and I think I definitely prefer a shorter barrel. Um, like I say, they didn't fly too bad, but I do often find with a, a long dart, it does feel a little bit effortless to throw them. But like I said, sometimes I get quite a lot of fishtail in the long dart, and if I had a medium stems on, that have been all over the place so just as well the short stems are provided um but like i said it's a really nice looking dart so i think front and rear grip is probably getting the best from it so if you like a long slim barrel it's a, a good one for you and that front grip it does feel quite interesting so i think i would like to see this design on a shorter front weighted style dart definitely that would be appealing to me um, so the only reservation with them obviously is the price it is a very pricey dart but it's a very nicey dart and i think obviously partly that is down to the player's name they're always charging more for the player's name there's no getting around that fact but 
to be fair there is quite a bit of machining on it and it's got the two cortons and that so obviously that'll add to the price as well but even so i'm sure we'd all like to see them a lot cheaper but anyway that's the end of that i'll leave you with the gallery so you can have a closer look at them if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please do so and i'll see you in the next one happy darting